Hey guys, Sean Patton back here with Zach Henderson of Legion Jiu Jitsu. And today we're going to talk about the power swing or the dead stop swing, kind of the same mm -hmm. thing, right? Yep. Um, and this is, you know, uh, a really good exercise and one that you've programmed for me because a lot of times in, you know, whether it's MA or any combat sport, wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, where you're kind of, you're kind of steady and then boom, we've got to explode, we've got to be powerful and come back. And this really trains that super well. So mm -hmm. Zach, tell us all about the power swing or the dead stop swing. Yeah, absolutely. So we've talked about the swing and the swing variations as being hip power dominant exercises, expressions in hip power. And when you're doing swings, oftentimes we're doing 10 or 20 at a time. So it's a little bit of a, a strength endurance type move here. Obviously power as well. But now with the dead stop swing or the power swing, we're specifically going heavier and we are training our ability to produce and stop force and momentum. So we're taking the essence of the swing, that good, strong, powerful hip snap, and we're doing it one at a time, as opposed to you know, multiple, multiple reps. So you're kind of forcing yourself to start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. And it doesn't look harder than a regular set of swings, but it is exponentially harder <laughs> yeah. than a regular set of swings. Um, so, Sean's gonna demonstrate uh, a few reps here. All right, all right. Do yeah. my best. So, the first and probably most important part is the setup. So, we've talked about the hip hinge. So, Sean's got a nice neutral back, chest is up, arms are active. He's gonna cock the uh, bell back and he's gonna get into his strong backswing. He's gonna do one swing up, catch it in the back swing and set it right down. Let's try one rep. Good, let's try two more, just like that. Good. So, it doesn't look like much, especially if you've already, you know, tried your hand at the regular swing. But when you're constantly having to start and stop, stop and start that momentum, yeah. especially being in that deep hip hinge, it's quite a challenge on the back. Mm -hmm. It's quite a challenge for the core and quite a challenge for your breathing, yeah. especially when we're doing that power exhalation and, and following that breathing cadence. Yeah, I think that's that breathing thing, you know, we actually put out a whole video on diaphragm training and breathing because it's so important. And that's something I've noticed uh, working with you on you know, synchronizing your movements and keeping uh, keeping breathing under tension and all that stuff is so important and something that uh, doing some more yoga has helped me mm. really be aware of because uh, of my breathing especially under tension because i know you know you get in those tight spaces and you're focused on oh, your gates match and your tendency is to and then man that just kills you but mm -hmm. um yeah the breathing on this is great the hinge you know, my take on this, uh, you know, having grappled in jiu-jitsu now for 15 years, uh, is that hip hinge motion, this explosive motion is, you know, the strongest motion we have in the human body. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we see it in uh, jiu-jitsu and combat sports so much, uh, because, you know, you're trying to make, right, I, I say all the time in class, right, you're trying to make the fight as unfair as possible. That's mm -hmm. the goal of jiu-jitsu, is make the fight as unfair as possible. And we do that by finding ways to do the strongest thing we can against the weakest part of you know their body or to move someone so whether it's someone shoots in on a takedown and you sprawl throw your hips and boom stop it and come back you explode through a takedown or then you know even on the ground right we're in side control someone's on top of me well my squat's not going to do me very much good right now but that boom that explosive hinge and like you said it's going to be start stop right boom back oh do it again to get space and come up and i just see that with this motion so much so yeah i think this is an awesome one um but yeah hope you guys are enjoying these kettlebell videos we're gonna put out uh one more that's gonna be really important uh zach's gonna talk about you know programming and common questions people get with kettlebell training integration uh for combat athletes but again if you guys have any questions or want to see anything else uh that pertains to uh functional fitness kettlebell training uh, let us know because again, we've got a Lean Jitsu student and kettlebell expert here in Zach Henderson. Make sure you give him a follow and check out his channel as well. Thanks guys. Appreciate you, sir.